Let us recall the construction of Fox Space by Mizan and Miwa. Let V0 be irreducible high speed module over quantum affine algebra UQ AM minus 1. And F be the vector space fed by all young diamonds. And we denote by V the set of N reduced young diamonds. Then Mizra and Mio from the following theorem. So F becomes an integrable representation. And the sub module generated by the empty diagram is isomorphic to V over lambda naught. And the set B gives a realization of the crystal basis B lambda naught. And in 1996, Lascaux, Leclerc, and Thibault discovered the mysterious and interesting connection between modular representation theory of Hecke algebras and the representation theory of quantum affine algebras. To be more precise, let mu be a young diagram and lambda an n reduced young diagram, and we denote by g of lambda the lower global basis element corresponding to lambda. Then, LLP, I just don't want to pronounce their names again because I'm not sure. I don't have confidence in French pronunciations. LLP, maybe LLP, so discovered the recurrent library of computing the global basis element as a linear combination of uh, young diagrams. So, the leading term is dn reduced diagram y, and other young diagrams run over those young diagrams, which are strictly less than lambda. And they conjecture that the coefficient polynomials k mu lambda, when evaluated at q is 1, they will give composition multiplicity of d lambda inside s mu, which is, I think, quite daring and brave conjecture. And it was proved by Ariki using the idea of categorification. And we denote by H of k the affine Hecke algebra, and H lambda k the cycle of the algebra, and we will use project for the category of finite generated project modules, and we will also use k for the protein group. Then Ariki proved that the complex by Rotary group K of project H lambda is isomorphic to V over lambda when Q is 1. And moreover, the project with indecomposable modules, the class, isomorphic class of those, will correspond to lower global basis element at Q is 1. And using this theorem as a corollary, we're using the decomposition, decomposition lab and some geometry argument he was able to prove LLT's conjecture. I think this is one of the most prominent applications of the idea of categorification at least up to now. And of course there are more, but one of those prominent applications. The naive question is how to generalize Arik's idea to other cases. So let UQG be a quantum group of affine type, classical affine type, and in a joint work with Chen Kwan, we introduced a notion of young words to explain the combinatorial representation theory of UQ of J. And let me give you a typical example with the quantum affine algebra of type B31. Then we play the game with colored blocks of various shapes. Say, and then we begin, we just begin with putting one block at the back, and then put zero block in front, and on top of it, we put two blocks, and we stack three blocks twice, because they are half height blocks, and we stack another two blocks, and then one block at the back. So if you are familiar with that, catch the algebra, and you, you will see that zero, two, three, three, two, one, they give immediately root. I mean the unit of measure root, and we just stack blocks following this pattern. So and one side of this pattern is called delta block, delta column. Then applying the gravity 
down our text network, and from left to right, and we will get some kind of three-dimensional generalization of Young diagrams, which is called Young one. And for reduced Young one, that means we don't have no delta columns which are removable, then we can define the lower global basis element corresponding to y, and Jehan and I were able to derive a generalized version of the LN algorithm of computing the lower global basis as a linear combination of proper ones by prime, where y prime runs over all proper ones strictly less than y. Then again, it is an interesting question that what is the meaning of k y prime y q? And it is still mysterious. And I asked Brundan and Krasov several times and they didn't tell me. Yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe Kovan Flada Ruki Algebras will may may we can provide answer. So what are Kovan Flada Ruki algebras? Like KVF field and take symmetrized Cartan data and for each i different from j, we define the set S sub i j to be the pair of non-negative integers such that alpha i alpha i times p plus alpha j alpha j times q is the same as negative 2 times alpha i alpha j. Then, I think I should go back, well, not go back and forth, so left and right. So, when A is symmetric, then alpha i alpha i and alpha j alpha j are 2, so they cancel out, and p plus q is a constant, depending on i and j. Now we define a family of polynomials q, i, j, u, v, as follows. When i is same as j, then we just set them zero. When i is different from j, then we take this almost homogeneous polynomial in the sense that when a is symmetric, then p plus q is constant. And we require this condition, then these polynomials u, QIJUV will be almost symmetric in the sense that QIJUV is the same as QJIUV, V double. Then, let beta be an element of positive root lattice with the height n, and define I to beta to be the set of sequences nu such that alpha nu one plus dot plus alpha nu n is the same as beta. The symmetry group sigma n will act on i to the n. The core of the rookie algebra r beta associated with the Cartan matrix A and the family of polynomials Q is defined to be the associated algebra over K generated by the elements E nu, Xk, and tau L, tau L with the defined measures given below. So, this one and the next page and the mark, but we will come back. So, note that E nu's are primitive eigenpotents, and XK's are polynomial generators, and tau L's correspond to simple reflections. And then, these defined relations are quite similar to those of affine Hecke algebras, but they are much more general and created the version of the defined relations of affine characters. Then, for each i, let us define the functors ei and fi to be the restriction and induction functors. Then they are well defined, I mean, they are well defined functors from the category of project project because this module R beta plus alpha I of E beta I is a free right R beta module. 
which were shown by Kobana Flauda and Brunda Klaschek. So these functors are very defined. And that W naught in the longest element of a sigma n with the reduced expression SI1 dots to SIN. And for each k, we define P sub k to be the product of tau k and xk plus 1, and set whole phase P of n to be Pi1 times up to Pi n. Then the divide powers Fi to the parenthesis n are defined to be the Fi to the n times P of n. Then, Kovanov's Lauda and Lucas categorization theorem can be stated as follows. So, the Grothendieck group of Proj R is isolated to the integral form of a negative half of quantum group. And here, the, where if you go down to the Grothendieck group, then the functors, divide powers of functors are left onto the divide powers f i to n. So we obtain a two category R such that first the objects are categories Proji R beta. Second, the Hamm categories are they consist of the monomers and functors FIs. And the morphisms in Hamm categories are generated by the natural transformations Xi from Fi to Fi, tau Ij from Fi Fj to Fj Fi. Satisfying the root case relations, which I don't bother to write down here, but you can find it from root case paper in 2008. And finally, growth in the group of category of endofrontals of category proj R is isomorphic to negative half of quantum group, I mean, integral form of negative half of quantum group. So we obtain. We can say we obtain two category algebra R. So that's Cohen of Plotable case construction. Then, how can we construct cyclotomy version of catalytication theorem? For each dominant integral with the lambda, we define the polynomial G super lambda of x to be the sum of monomers whose powers are given by lambda, the value of lambda at h e1, and where the sum is taken over all the sequences inside i to the beta. Then the quotient of r beta by the two-sided ideal g lambda x1 is denoted by r lambda beta, and it is called cyclotomy corner throughout the root key algebra. Once that is the problem, I cannot follow this. Real pronunciation, but anyway. We will denote by project the category of finite genetic grid project modules, and we will use a rep for the category of finite dimensional grid modules. Now, again, for each i, we define the functors ei and fi to be the restriction and induction functors. The point, the point is that. There is no guarantee that EI and FI send projectives to projectives. So, for this purpose, if we can prove R lambda beta plus R5 times E beta R5 is a project like R lambda beta module, then EI and FI will be exact and they will send project to projectives. And this was rather non trivial and actually to be very much here and highly challenging problems. And the adjacent pair, FI and EI, defines an SL2 categorification in the sense of charm and looking. So, in a joint work with Masaki Kashiwara, we obtained the cyclotomic version of the categorification theorem. That is, the K group of Prajara lambda is isomorphic to integral form of V. A lambda, I mean integral form of B lambda, and the K group of rep R lambda is isomorphic to the dual of integral form of V of lambda. And therefore, 
we obtain a two category R lambda whose objects are categories crossing R lambda better. So we can say that we obtain an integral two representation of two category R inside into the two category R lambda. So we can also say that we obtain an integral an integral two representation of a two category R. And this was also proved by Ben Webster by different method and it was not published yet. Now, when A is a symmetry, then Paranolo and Passer prove the following. So, under the categorification theorem, the isomorphism classes of PIMs correspond to lower global basis. And so, Isomorphic classes of simple modulus will correspond to upper global basis. But when the Cartan datum is not symmetric, then this statement is not true in general. But in a joint work, we say it all, we own part, we own time. I don't like this person because he put H between <laughs> A and N to, to come before me. <laughs> he is co so called by student. <laughs> Just to, anyway, with Masaki Kasha and Oyin Sa, we were able to prove that the isomorphism classes of simple modules form a perfect basis of a K group of rep R, and the isomorphism classes of PIMs form a dual perfect basis of K group Praj R. And I would like to mention that the statement that one was motivated by the work of Blauda and Kajdan. Then what's next? In general case, we would like to characterize the perfect basis that correspond to upper global basis. I mean, when the Cartan data is symmetric, we know what they are. But in this case, we all know that should be some kind of perfect basis, but we don't know how to characterize them yet. And similarly, we would like to characterize lower global basis that, I mean, the dual perfect basis that correspond to lower global basis. And for our fine case, that was my original motivation to start the LLT conjecture. So, we would like to construct Simple no, 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 standard modules corresponding to each top number and to each reduced number, then we are going to construct the simple modules and PIM for cyclotomic quantum flowering conjugates. And for non cyclotomic case or original quantum flowering conjugates, I think Clash has already constructed these modules. Now, let me talk about another mathematical regime which connects the different mathematical universes. So, the Shaw by duality via one of louder rookie algebras. So, let V be the n dimensional complex vector space. Then, V to the tensor K is G and sigma K by module. So we obtain the so-called Shaw by classical Shaw by duality functor from the category of sigma k modules to the category of polynomial representations of GLM. So which maps a sigma k module M to the tensor product of tensor powers V with M over the sigma k. Moreover, F defines an equivalence of categories Remember, k is less than or equal to n. For the quantum version, when v is an n-dimensional vector space over CQ, then again, v tends to k becomes a bimodule over quantum GLN and finite k algebra h of k. So we obtain the quantum version of Shaw by duality functor from the category of hk modules to the polynomial representation, to the category of polynomial representations of quantum GRM. 
and f is also an equivalence of categories whenever k is less than or equal to n. Now let us extend the short wire duality to the affine case. Then it works like Charlie Presley, Chilegny, Ginsburg, Rusty, King, Fasserot in an alphabetical order. They consider fundamental representation V pi 1 of quantum affine algebra U cube prime A n minus 1 1. Then V tensor K becomes a bimodule over quantum affine algebra type A and affine Hecke algebra H of K. So they obtain the quantum affine Shaw by duality functor from the category of H of K modules to the category of U cube prime A n minus 1 modules using the tensor, tensor product. I mean, free to the K will play the role of the corners of this tensor functor. Moreover, F is exact, and it is an equivalence of categories when K is strictly less than N. Now, using the corner of louder rookie algebras, we can construct a more general short by duality functors, which I would call corner of louder rookie type short by duality functor. For this purpose, we're going to have to record the definition of normalized R matrices. So let U cube prime G be a quantum of finite graph of any type, any type, and V be a finite dimensional integral U cube prime G module. And V is set to be good if V has a bi involution, has a simple crystal basis, and has a low global basis. I think we need to find a more exciting definition for rather than good, but it's good. Good is good. So if M1 and M2 are good modules, then there is the U2 prime G module homomorphism R from the tensor product of affinizations of M1 and M2 to the tensor product of affinizations of M2 and M1 with scalar field extended, and such that R satisfies the young best definition, and it maps U1 times U2 to the U2 times U1, where U1 and U2 are dominant extremal wave vectors, which I don't have time to describe what they are. Then this homomorphism is called normalized R matrix. And the denominator of R is defined with the Mani polynomial D M1 M2 U of the smallest degree such that D times R maps or image of D times R lies inside M2 tensor M1. Affinization of M2 tensor M1. So we'll record that. This color field was extended, has to be extended, but if you multiply more polynomials, then the image can, send, can be sent inside this. So that's the role of denominator polynomial. Then let us construct KLR type survival duality functor. Let Vs be a family of good modules labeled by the set S and take an index that J and the maps X from J to K star, the, the field of reverse, set of non elements in the field, and take a map S from J to the X, which parameterizes these good modules. Therefore, each I and J, we denote by D S I S J, the denominator of R, V S I, V S J. So, these two are good modules, so we have denominator. And we define a quiver gamma to the J as follows. So we take J to be the set of vertices and put D i j and arrows from i to j, where D i j is the order of the denominator at x of j over x of i. I mean, they are complex numbers, non zero, field of non zero elements. The non zero elements in the field. Then define the matrix AJ by, so AIJ to the J is 2 when I is same as J, 
and when i is different from j, define a i j to j to be negative d sub i j minus d j sub i. Then we will get a symmetric Cartan matrix a to j. And a to j usually not equal to a in general, where a is the Cartan matrix of u cube prime g that we start with. And we define a polynomial q i j to j as follows. When i j is should be zero, and when i is different from j, we define them to be u minus v to the dij, v minus u to the dj now. Then, let R j of beta to be the co-flood root algebra associate, associated with the Cartan data a to j and the polynomial q to the j. So for each sequence new inside j to the beta, we define O hat sub x nu to be the completion of local ring at x nu. And we set V sub nu to be the tensor product of optimization of V S nu 1 and up to S nu A. So they are tensor product of optimization of good modules. And this is important thing. We define V hat to the tensor power beta to be the direct sum of all new, the sequence is new in J beta of the O hat x new times tensor v sub new. Then, in a joint work with Masaki Kashiwara and Myung Kim, we were able to show that this is a phi module over u cube prime g and r j beta. So we obtain a kr type Shaw by duality functor from the category of modules of RJ beta to the category of modules of U cube prime G. Moreover, if there is tensor functor in the sense that the convolution product is sent to tensor product, and if gamma J, the quiver that we derive is of finite AD type, then F is exact. I would like to emphasize that our approach is quite general because we have various choices of the type of G, the index set and the map X, and the family of good modules and the map X. Of course, they should give interesting applications, but there are many choices and I mean, there are wide, wide room left. And there's a special case of interesting applications. Let me talk about the KL type Shaw by duality functor related to the Austin and the right to keep. I have five minutes. Probably I can do it. So let G be an untwisted affine catching algebra of type ADE. And let G not be the final dimension simple the algebra inside G. I did <laughs> first. Should I stop? <laughs> so let did not, we do not by I and I not the simple roots of G and G not. I mean index that were simple roots of G and G not. And we do not by Q the thinking thinking fever of G not and H the task number of G not. And we fix the height function psi from I not to Z uh, such that Psi j is the same as psi i minus 1 whenever we have an arrow from i to j. Before I forget, let me tell you that all these constructions are due to Elemandes Leclerc. The, the, the notations and constru constructions, except the last, last part. So, we have the repetition q where q hat of q, where the set of vertices is I0 hat, which is defined to be the set of parents of I and P, where I is an index for simple roots of G0, and P is a, an integer, such that P minus psi I is an even integer. 
Then we define the error as follows. There is an error from IP to the J, comma P plus one, and J, comma P, J, comma Q to the I, comma Q plus one. Whenever we have an error from I to J, then there is bijection, bijection five from I not had to lambda zero plus cross Z. But here, lambda zero plus, I mean, delta zero plus means the set of past roots of a genome. Then the inverse region of past roots cross zero under phi is called the outside the right computer. Of course, there are many, many more sophisticated definitions, but I will just take this as a definition. And inside outside the right computer, we take the inverse region of simple roots cross zero. And we will call it jelly, and that's the index set. And the parametric labeling set for good mothers is just V pi i, where i runs inside this index set of simple roots for gene. Then we define the maps x and s as follows. x maps i comma p to the negative q to the p plus h here. H is cost number, and S maps I comma P to the fundamental representation three times the bar. And we denote by gamma to the J the fever associated with J, X, and S. Then, in a joint work with Masati Kashiwara and Myung Kim, if for each I, P, and J are inside J, it's zero of the denominator at z is negative q to the r minus p has order at most one, then the quiver gamma j, j is of type g naught. So we begin with g, and then we, we get a quiver of type g naught. The functor f is exact. Finally, we denote by near rep Rj, the category of finite dimensional ungraded Rj modules, on which Xk is that mid potentially, and let Cq be the smallest full subcategory of mod Q, Uq prime G, such that Cq contains all V beta Z over Z minus 1 to the L times, times V of beta Z, and we request. CQ is a stable undertaking sub module stuff quotient, jerk sums, and tensor product. And again, this category is introduced by Hernandez and the club. And a joint work with Myung Kim and Masaki Kasha, we obtain the following theorem. F defines an exact functor from the category near rep RTJ to the category at C sub Q and F sends a simple object to a simple object. Moreover, we conjecture that F actually defines an inference of categories. As we have seen so far, my conclusion is simple. kubanov lauda rookie algebras provide a mathematical bridge connecting different mathematical universes. So they are rich sources of various types of mathematical duties. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank in Trump, but it was a Q&A session, sorry. Uh, oh, go ahead. So, is there a possibility for these theories to apply to, say, super... Of course, yes. Yes. Even there is super categorification of, uh, I mean, super version of the common flow of the QRG bus. But, for applying super case, I'm not sure. That's much more complicated than I'll find this.
Okay, thanks. So, um, on behalf of the organizing committee of the RCM, we'd like to uh, present you with a gift. Thank you. I'm one of the organizing committee. Thanks a lot. So, the next talk will start uh, in 12 minutes.